Hi, I'm Dr. Shoykot. Today I'll discuss about acute coronary syndrome. Now, what is acute coronary syndrome? So, acute coronary syndrome is the term that includes both unstable angina and myocardial infarction. New onset rapidly worsening angina that occurs at rest or on minimal exertion in the absence of myocardial damage. And what is myocardial infarction? Myocardial infarction occurs when symptoms occur at rest with the evidence of myocardial necrosis due to myocardial ischemia. Now pathophysiology of acute coronary syndrome or MI. So this is a schematic diagram of the coronary artery and here is endothelium and this is a atheromatous plaque having lipid rich core with a thin fibrous cap which may rupture and cause platelet aggregation and adhesion causing localized thrombus formation or vasoconstriction or distal embolization. So this dynamic process may increase the size of this thrombus and may cause complete occlusion of this vessel or may regress due to the effect of platelet disaggregation or endogenous fibrinolysis. In acute MI, occlusive thrombus is always present at the site of ruptured atheromatous plaque which causes irreversible myocardial damage or necrosis. Because when there is a complete occlusion of that coronary artery, then the area of myocardium supplied by that coronary artery will not get blood supply. Due to that, there will be coagulative necrosis of that area of myocardium and that is called myocardial infarction. Now what are the clinical features of myocardial infarction?
So the symptoms of acute coronary syndrome or MI include severe chest pain which is described as tightness, heaviness or constriction lasting more than 20 minutes radiating to arm, jaw, throat or back and anxiety or fear of impending death then nausea or vomiting due to vagal stimulation, breathlessness, collapse or syncope due to arrhythmia or profound shock. Now what are the signs of ACS or MI? So the signs of MI. The first one is signs of sympathetic activation that is pallor, sweating, tachycardia and signs of vagal activation that is nausea, vomiting and bradycardia. Then signs of impaired myocardial function, hypotension, oliguria, cold periphery and there is basal crepitation due to pulmonary edema if left ventricular failure develops and increased JVP then there is S3. Then signs of tissue damage that is fever and signs of complications like mitral regurgitation or pericarditis. So these are the clinical features of myocardial infarction. Now the investigations for MI. So the investigations of MI includes ECG, plasma biochemical markers like creatine kinase, troponin INT, CKMP starts to rise at 4 to 6 hours, the peak of CKMP is at 12 hours and it falls to normal at 48 hours but troponin INT starts releasing within 4 to 6 hours and remain elevated up to 2 weeks so troponin is or T is better. 
and other blood tests include leukocytosis increased GSR or CRP increase of tissue damage and chest x-ray we will get features of pulmonary edema if there is left ventricular failure and on echocardiogram detects infarcts with regional wall motion abnormalities now what are the ECG findings in MI we will discuss Thank you.